Welcome to my YouTube channel Fire Technology. I am Engineer Ahmed Sherbini, and this is lecture number three of the uh, hydraulic calculation using the Elite software for fire protection system. In our lecture number three, we are going to make a new example about the using of ESFR sprinkler inside this program, inside this software. Our case, as we see, as the following, it is almost like a store or something like this storage. Uh, ESFR sprinkler is 3 meter by 3 meter away and we have here the pump underground line this underground line is supplying a landing valve at the end the flow required from it is 250 gbm at a residual pressure of 100 psi also as we get the design parameter from NFBA standard we found that this K factor will be 16.2 and the residual pressure for this sprinkler will be 40 psi according to the, uh, the NFBA standard to calculate the ESFR you need to calculate 12 sprinkler for at each branch that's what we did for at each branch and this is 12 sprinkler we need to enter this data this system inside the program to get the sizes till now we did not put any size because we don't know we can assume the sizes and see what the program say about this I will assume that the sizes of uh, the branch line this system will be 2 inch and I will assume a 4 inch for the main loop also I will use same 4 inch for the underground pipe and we will see if this can work or not first we have to get our system ready like this make the model this is the one put the point name point number one point number two at minus one the level is underground so I put it underground as minus one this the level is continuing like this this is the valve and this is the underground line to the landing valve then these are points make the name as you like if you want to put this number eight then this number nine it's okay if you go this number nine ten as I did no problem all the same after you finish the numbering and putting the levels of all the nodes then it is the time to go directly to the program once you go to the program we will make open we will make a new once you open the new we will find the project data as i told you before this is just for the final reward the project title the client data company data building data and let's go directly to the system data if you have in like sprinkler allowance and all this i told you before this and this and this is only for the report it will not affect any calculation the default pipe material we are using here let's say schedule 40 material uh, like uh, steel pipe the default key factor is 16.2 sprinkler model put it if you have it and all this data until you reach here to the primary type is sprinkler hazard description as you know if you press here you will find ordinary uh, extra light so as uh, using the SFR you will find yourself in uh, commodity you are not using here the hazard type so how can I put it just put put it here delete and write whatever you want I am more using commodity uh, number four plus now we can write it as you like here comes another problem the minimum desired density how can we get the minimum desired density and the code is not giving it to us you have to calculate it the code is just giving you that the k factor is and the residual pressure is so how can we get let's calculate it we will calculate the sprinkler uh, the density okay so we will calculate now the density as we know here the k factor is 16.2 the area protected by one sprinkler is 3 by 3 which is almost 100 feet square so flow of one sprinkler as we know is k multiplied by square root of b the square root of the pressure i have the pressure and i have the k factor so one sprinkler is required to flow 102.4 gbm so spraying density is the flow of one sprinkler uh, at the area per area of one sprinkler so flow of one sprinkler so 100 and 2 
for a hundred which is this number you will find it one gbm for feet every feet square so the density for this in this case is one gbm for every feet square this is how to calculate the density if you have the k factor and the area protected by one sprinkler once you calculate it put it directly here to the program write it as you want choose the sprinkler system type which is wet okay the area of the sprinkler operation which is this area this is the most remote area calculate this area and put it inside the program okay and then maximum area per sprinkler is 100 feet square then we finished the general project data now we have to go to enter the pipe data we will start to enter the pipe data as we see before uh, uh, and the assumptions I made before I will put the pipe data and then we can discuss it okay now we are back again I already entered all the pipe data as you see here point one is the inflow node point one two point two point two is at the level of minus one meter one meter as you see this is the for the network of underground for the network of underground I should change the material okay I don't let it all be one material for calculation the difference will not be so big as to see it okay until we reach a point point six let's check point six okay at point six I put the non sprinkler flow with 250 GBM and we have to check at the final report at point six we need a residual pressure of 100 psi okay another way to enter the uh, this uh, the firewall cabinet or the landing valve inside the program you can enter it as like if it is a sprinkler how uh, I know that it low at 250 GBM at 100 psi so I can calculate the k factor of it the residual pressure for it is a hundred psi the flow is 250 psi so the k factor for this landing valve is 25 if I take the k factor of here and put it like if it is a sprinkler and I write 25 and I remove this non-standard non flow non-sprinkler flow then it is done I can deal with it like if it is uh, sprinkler but to not not to be confused between the sprinkler and this one so let it be like are you working 250 and then let's start let's continue enter all the data and then let's go directly to the calculation here we are at the calculation for the calculation I'm calculating at a demand and the residual pressure was 40 psi and let's make here okay one one and don't forget the following in my work i assume that all this is a four inch and also the main loop is four inch the branches is two inch okay now i need to make sure that these numbers can work let's calculate if i calculate the system i will find that i need a bump with a thousand and fifty five hundred gbm one thousand five hundred gbm at a pressure of two hundred and thirty four psi my problem here is that this pressure is too high i need to lower the pressure so to lower the pressure i need to increase some pipe diameter as you see here also this is indication as i told you before to make it about 20 feet per second there is no specific reference in the nfb8 saying that it should be 20 feet per second but for the designers of fire protection this as known it is uh, at 20 feet per second it will give you the correct pipe sizes and the correct pressure so let's see the problem here as a the program is telling us that point one and the point two which is the start already of the system is uh, is the problem so let's increase 
it to 6 inch how to increase it as I said before let's go to here and let's change every 4 inch to 6 inch every 4 inch to 6 inch and let's execute then let's check again and make the calculation again and see remember the number here 235 calculate see with the new pipe size and now the uh, the velocity in the pipe is 20 the maximum velocity is 20 and the pressure is less than 100 psi now we, we could uh, now we calculated the system as we exactly want so the final diameter of course this for our system will be as the following all the underground will be 6 inch and also this loop will be 6 inch this uh, this branches will be 2 inch if we make like this then our pump will be 100 psi at 1500 gbm and now our system is calculated of course you can print the report and you can see all this